Do you need help? I'm not looking for any help. And besides, there's nothing to help with. Hey! You can't just climb into my boat. Yeah, you're right. Give me a helping hand. What do you think you're doing? We're going fishing. There are no fish out there this time of day. In fact, there are no fish out here any time of day. Peter. Just give me an hour. And I will give you a whole new life. Who says I want one? I'm telling you. There's no fish out there. What we see here is a glimpse of how Jesus sometimes gets people's attention. Jesus brought his lessons down to a powerful, life-changing application opportunity for Peter. We find Jesus in Peter's boat, pushed out a bit into the lake. Now, Peter had fished all night and caught nothing. He was a fisherman. He knew that lake like the back of his hand. He knew when the fish were active near the surface and when they were not. And I'm guessing that he had never caught many fish at that time of day in that spot. So what in the world would a carpenter have ever learned that qualified him to advise Peter on fishing? So probably, to prove his point, Peter threw out the net. Well, what happened next changed Peter's whole perspective on Jesus and changed Peter's life. How did this happen? What did you do? I'm giving you the chance to change your life. Peter, come with me. Give up catching fish and I will make you a fisher of men. Now I expect that for a few minutes, Peter wasn't all that reflective. He was just pulling an incredible haul of fish into the boat. But then it hit him. Jesus just did a miracle. He had control over the fish in the lake. He knew more than Peter did in Peter's strongest area. I'm sure he was asking himself, how did this happen? What does this mean? How should I respond? And it was in that moment of Peter's awe that Jesus made an offer that Peter could not refuse. Follow me, and I will make you a fisher of men. And the Bible records that Peter did follow Jesus and did become a fisher of men. What are we going to do? Change the world. When God orchestrated the writing and assembly of what we call the New Testament, He arranged for there to be four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. 
They each present Jesus' ministry from a particular perspective and often generate different responses from those who read. Mark, for example, uses the word immediately, often, and fosters a sense within us that we need to take action. Well, so it is with various films on the life of Jesus Christ. They tell the same story, of course, but do so with unique approach and flair. The Son of God is done with outstanding quality of production and acting. At the same time, what becomes very clear is the humble, personal touch Jesus had on the lives of individuals. Jesus changed lives then, and he continues to do so today. So it's my prayer that Son of God will have that impact on those who watch it. How did this happen? What are we going to do? Change the world. He will bring a new age of righteousness and justice. His power will draw all men to a new world. All people! I've had reports of a young prophet of Nazareth. It's rumored he works miracles. They all do. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God.